All right, I wanted to do a quick retraction on my last video for this, which was uh, changing the ALS jump. Um, I got corrected by Joe Bob in the ALS Discord, um, where you can search the ABP and replace those with the jump loop of your choice. Um, so you want to replace your let's try to zoom in a little bit uh, ALS flail, ALS fall loop, fall loop fast, loop, jump loop, jump run, uh, and the jump walks. So. Easiest way is obviously just open up the animation blueprint, find out where they are, and gut them and change them. Um, and you can pretty much just, you know, match these up for what they are. So, like, this is your jump, 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 jump. This is all going to be the same animation you'll replace it with. Um, and then same with the fall loop fast, or the flail. You'll replace all of these with the same one, which will just be fall, because fall and flail are both related to the same thing in ALS. Um, and there was one spot in Ragdoll where I didn't necessarily know where to change it, so I just kind of left it because it didn't seem to have any adverse effects. But uh, maybe I'll get corrected again because I like that. It's actually good. You learn more that way. All right. So all I did was import the third-person animations just to be quick about this. Um, after that, just open up the animation blueprint. Uh, right now I have the jump state open. So you can find that by going to base layer. Um, main movement states, jump, and then jump states, and you have your jump left right here. Just replaced it with jump, jump foot, or uh, the jump run, jump, this is the other foot. Um, just replaced it with jump again. I turned off loop animation, that's one thing I did have to do, because um, I was getting a weird kind of hitch thing going on. So replace those, replace that one. Um, I was also notified by by Joe Bob as well that you can use jump play rate and one other variable in in here I'm drawing a blank now to um, modify the jump to make it like look better um, and then the fall loop is just replacing the flail um, back here's nothing in fall we replace uh, I just put it right up here so all of this code is the previous fall loops and flails I just bypassed it and put the fall loop right there um, and then I don't think I changed land. Nope. Didn't have to change anything else. So that's all you really got to do, I think. Let's just double check all these. And then, yeah, you can see one here. No, that's not the one I was looking for. Yeah, right here. In um, the ragdoll states, there's one that's ALS flail, and it's got a flail rate. But I don't know exactly when this is being called, like obviously during regular, but when, because you don't really see it. So, but now this way, um, the advantage is that it does work with your overlay states. So you can really notice it with like the arm on this one in particular, that it's matching the new jump um, or any of the pistol one-handed stuff. You can see that it's now forward of where it was Instead, ALS had it more like this. So, yeah. This is a much better way of modifying the jump. I'm glad I got corrected. Because this now allows me to kind of go the extra step further, which is, um, let's say you had an overlay of a sword, or a big sword, or something like that, or anything where you wanted different legs, actually. Um... The legs aren't blended in this way because I think that ALS always has the same legs on the bottom. Yeah. So in order to change that default legs on the bottom, you'd kind of want to have that in some sort of like, uh, you know, being able to change out this set of animations that I had just swapped with another set that would be able to dynamically switch based on your overlay um, through some functionality. So. I'm going to try to figure that out, especially if I can figure out a way that's like soft reference or soft loaded, because um, that would be ideal. Otherwise, I find that ALS already is a little bit cumbersome with the way that it's built, so because it's not using animation layers. Um, but yeah, that's a much better way of modifying the jump, and I really appreciate Joe Bob correcting me, so I hope that helps some people.